What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Blue Blood Sports TV, back at y'all with another one. So, former unified WBC, WBA, welterweight world champion superstar boxer Keith, one time Thurman, lost and relinquished his WBC title due to inactivity and then lost his WBA title to eight division world champion, Filipino superstar, iconic, legendary boxer, and currently the WBA welterweight world champion, Manny Pac-Man Pacquiao. Keith Thurman uh, is now on the flip side of his situation with undefeated, unified WBC IBF welterweight world champion, superstar boxer, Errol the True Spence Jr. And if you don't know how Errol Spence Jr. has captured the WBC title, as I just stated, Keith one time Thurman had to relinquish his WBC title due to inactivity. Therefore, two time welterweight world champion Showtime Sean Porter and two division world champion, former junior welterweight unified world champion and former WBC welterweight world champion Danny Swift Garcia fought for the vacant WBC title in which Showtime Sean Porter was uh, victorious in that fight, uh, successfully defended the title against your Danis Ugas, and then went on into a mega showdown with Errol Spence in which he came up short. Thus, Errol Spence captured the WBC title. With that said, Errol Spence has been chasing Keith Thurman uh, ever since he was well known in the welterweight division in the sport of boxing. Once he came up out of that, uh, uh, the incubator stage of being uh, um, a contender and he was known, right? Errol Spence has been calling for a fight with Keith Thurman. Keith Thurman gave well, Errol Spence the runaround, to say the very least. Errol Spence even challenged Keith Thurman live on national TV on a Showtime uh, um, buildup on a, on a, at, the, uh, 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 at the table, right? And, um, you know, they do these little... Um, mini press conferences where they have fighters in between fights when they have big fights and they'll have fighters in between fights that have fights coming up to promote them and Keith Thurman and Errol Spence were up there together and Errol Spence said that I want Keith Thurman I want this man right here Keith Thurman did his best to avoid Errol Spence told Errol Spence to get a title Errol Spence then went to the UK captured the IBF world title from Kel Brook Special K Kel Brook brought it back to the States like he said he was and then presented itself to Keith Thurman once again for a unification bout. At this point in time, it would have been for Keith Thurman's WBC, uh, uh, WBA, and Errol Spencer's IBF, right? And Keith Thurman once again turned him down. Cited that his injuries were too bad. He wouldn't be pushed into a fight with Errol Spence. That's his Manny Pacquiao, as he looked at himself as Floyd Mayweather. And he said, Errol Spence is his Manny Pacquiao, and that's a future fight for down the line. So he avoided Errol Spence. Now, since Keith Thurman has lost his titles, Keith Thurman is now stating that Errol Spence cannot continue to duck him. And if Errol Spence does continue to try to duck him, he's going to have to move up to 154. Because Keith Thurman has no plans to go on up to junior middleweight. 154. So he said he's going to either have to face me or move up out of the division. Eventually, he's going to have to answer this bell. Eventually, if he wants to be a world champion and wants to present himself as such, he's going to have to face me. He's going to have to go through me. Well, Keith Thurman, I beg to differ. And I like Keith Thurman. This is no knock against Keith Thurman because I like Keith Thurman. Uh, I just favor Errol Spence, uh, especially if they fight. And um, I just like Errol Spence's approach to the sport of boxing uh, more so than Keith Thurman's approach, right? Uh, Keith Thurman speaks in a lot of hypotheticals, right? And uh, uh, when you look at it from that standpoint, it's a lot of smoke and mirrors. Nothing is coming of it. You understand? Uh, so by Keith Thurman saying that Errol Spence has to go through him, right, in order to, to legitify being a, being a champion, no, that's not true. Now, see, it's coming off as, as, as if Keith Thurman is looking for a cash-out fight, right? He's looking for a big-money fight, like he stated. He stated in this interview, he said, I'm no longer, I don't want to fight uh, uh, B and C-level fighters. I want Errol Spence, rematches with Manny Pacquiao, Sean Porter, Danny Garcia, 
or Terrence Crawford. This is what he's stating, right? So now at this point in time, Keith Thurman wants to jump ahead of the line in which he wasn't willing to do and give the opportunity to Errol Spence. Now he's presenting himself as if he is the hill that Errol Spence has to climb in order to, legit, to, to be legit world champion. And that's the furthest thing from the truth because the biggest fight in the sport of boxing currently is Errol Spence versus Terrence Crawford, right? Then uh, Errol, the bigger fight for Errol Spence obviously would be to fight Manny Pacquiao who beat Keith Thurman, who holds the WBA title for Errol Spence to get a step closer to being undisputed welterweight world champion. Last time we had an undisputed welterweight world champion, that was uh, Zab Judah, right? So now we're looking to get Keith Thurman. I mean, Errol Spence is looking to become undisputed or Terrence Crawford is looking to become undisputed. Manny Pacquiao at this point in time does not need to become undisputed to, to, uh, uh, to um, you know, to certify his career. His career is already set. It's already set in stone. At this point in time, Manny Pacquiao is just adding uh, cherries onto the top of what's already a, a, a mountain of accomplishments and legacy. His legacy is already set in stone. If he loses, it's not going to hurt his legacy. If he wins, it'll slightly enhance it because he's doing so against these young, hungry lions, right? Other than that, Manny Pacquiao is already set. So the bigger fight for Errol Spence was, is to be to capture and beat Manny Pacquiao, who beat the young, hungry lion and Keith Thurman, who was undefeated and unified, and become unified and capture the WBA. Then he would be the WBC, IBF, and the WBA welterweight world champion going into what is already considered the biggest fight in the sport of boxing right now. If they fought right now, Errol Spence and Terrence Crawford is the biggest fight in boxing, and it's not for undisputed. <coughs> if they fought right now, right? It would just be a unification bout because somebody has to get that belt off of Manny Pacquiao's waist to be undisputed. So Errol Spence go en route to getting the, that Terrence Crawford mega showdown, goes through Danny Garcia, who Keith Thurman won a close fight with, and goes through uh, uh, Manny Pacquiao en route to Terrence Crawford, Keith Thurman is out of the equation. Then Keith Thurman makes mention that he beat Sean Porter in a, in a way better fashion than Errol Spence did, and so people are calling for the fight between Keith Thurman and Errol Spence. Uh, Keith, at this point in time, it's like you're not in tune with the boxing world right now. Because nobody's calling for Errol Spence versus Keith Thurman. Nobody. Once upon a time, that was a fight, but Keith Thurman avoided that fight. Like he said, he was trying to put it off. Like I said, he speaks in hypo hypotheticals, right? So he 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 was saying that uh, that's his Manny Pacquiao. So that's a future fight he wanted to build up. So he dropped the ball because now he lost to Manny Pacquiao. He don't seem like himself. He don't seem to have the same hunger. And nobody's calling for that fight. Point blank and period. Everybody's calling for Errol Spence and Terrence Crawford, not Errol Spence and Keith Thurman. And we, the world watched Errol Spence repeatedly on different platforms, on different interviews, call out Keith Thurman and Keith Thurman dance around the Errol Spence saga and situation. Continuously. It never came off as if he wanted that fight. So nobody's in, in the belief that, or in the mindset, that they want to see Keith Thurman and Errol Spence. Yes, it's a name for Errol Spence, but nobody wants to see Keith Thurman over Manny Pacquiao and Errol Spence. Nobody wants to see Keith Thurman over Terrence Crawford and Errol Spence. Nobody wants to see Keith Thurman over even Danny Garcia and Errol Spence at this point in time. Because Keith Thurman is seen as damaged goods, to be honest. I think if Keith Thurman wants to truly put himself back in contention, he should go and fight Virgil Ortiz, the young hungry bull, showed us that you're still hungry. Show the boxing world, the fans and the pundits, that you're still hungry. Uh, Virgil Ortiz, Jerron Boots Ennis, give us that. Then work your way back to the Errol Spencers of the world. Because nobody wants to see Sean Porter and Keith Thurman right now. We would much rather see Sean Porter and Terrence Crawford. That's just being truthful. Keith Thurman has played, pushed himself, placed himself in a position of out of sight, out of mind. He's made himself irrelevant in the welterweight division. And he's a big name. He has skills. Right? 
But he's done this to himself. With the injuries and being out of sight, out of mind, <coughs> and then putting off the Errol Spence fight for so long, and avoiding Errol Spence when Errol Spence was calling him out to his face, you did it to yourself. So nobody wants to see, and nobody believes that Errol Spence is ducking Keith Thurman. Point blanket, period. So uh, Errol Spence said that his announcement coming soon, he's back training, and he's going to fight Danny Garcia, which was a close fight. Danny Garcia versus Keith Thurman was a close fight, and Keith Thurman and Sean Porter was a close fight. Did Keith Thurman beat Sean Porter in a more dramatic fashion than Errol Spence? No. No, he didn't. Errol Spence dropped Sean Porter. That's, that speaks volumes. Late in the fight. So, yes, it was a close fight, but Errol Spence dropped Sean Porter. Keith Thurman never dropped Sean Porter. So... But uh, let's see how this all plays out. Anyway, Keith Thurman said that, uh, uh, I mean, Errol Spence said the announcement is coming soon for a huge fight between himself and Danny Garcia. And then his three-fight plan seems to be playing out in his favor as Manny Pacquiao seems on the verge of fighting Mikey Garcia, which I highly favor Manny Pacquiao to be victorious in that fight. And then that's what Errol Spence said. He wanted Danny Garcia and then Manny Pacquiao. So it looks like that'll be available to him. Then go. He should he be successful in both those fights? Nothing is guaranteed. I favor him to beat Manny Pacquiao and Danny Garcia, but nothing is guaranteed. But should he be successful, he goes on and fights Terrence Crawford, which will be a mega undisputed bout at that point in time because Errol Spence would then have defended his titles against Danny Garcia, satisfied his mandatory, goes in a fight with Manny Pacquiao. If he beats Manny Pacquiao, he'll be the WBA champion and the IBF and the WBC. As long as Terrence Crawford stays on course, uh, that fight will be for undisputed, and it's the biggest fight in the sport of boxing. So when is the last time we had the biggest fight in the sport of boxing for undisputed? That speaks volumes. The fight that was uh, um, topping that fell by the wayside. That was Deontay Wilder and Anthony Joshua. But obviously that fell by the wayside. So let's see how this all plays out. But uh, that's all I got for y'all. Y'all already know what it is. It's your boy, Blue. Blue Blood Sports TV. Hit like, comment, and subscribe. If you haven't subscribed, hit the subscribe button. Hit the like button. Hit the bell icon to get all the new notifications. Follow me on Instagram at Blue Blood Sports TV. All one word. Y'all already know what it is. Shout out to the entire LDBC. Shout out to New Media. Shout out to Black Media Row. Make sure you like and share these videos. That's all I got for y'all. Peace.